Angela Fazio is an industry powerhouse who has overseen 40,000 homes sold and 9 billion in production. And Kristen Cantrell is one of the nation's most accomplished team leaders, helping thousands of agents build their businesses. They are passionate about educating, encouraging, and empowering moms in real estate. Our next episode starts now. Hey guys, welcome to Moms in Real Estate. I'm Kristen Cantrell. And I'm Angela Fazio. And today's guest is Rachel White. And I love this episode. I'm looking forward to it because I've been in real estate for so many years and there's um, so many different pathways to make money, to help people, to... Um, be, to be fulfilled in your career. And Rachel is a perfect example. So you're not going to want to miss one minute of this episode because by the end, you will be downloading a free app and yeah. it will help your career. And it will change your life. It will. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so Rachel, tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you guys for having me on. I'm so excited to be here. Um, so my name's Rachel. Um, first and foremost, I'm a mom and my, my son is 11 and my daughter's six. And about five years ago, I got into real estate to change my uh, change careers. I was in restaurant management, and I thought I'd have you know better hours and create more of a stability in my family with real estate. And uh, my journey was a little a little interesting, and one that I know I'm not alone in. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I just out of my real estate career created something from what I struggled with. And so that's like my way of helping people is, is my product on Lockbox. And I'm excited to share about it. Yeah, I think we're going to dive all into Unlocked Box, <laughs> yes, you guys. Are. But I really want to talk about another thing with you too. One of your struggles when you are a real estate agent is the, uh, the unauthentic business that you had insert inserted yourself in and you felt like you had to basically fake it, fake it. Yeah, and be I think, somebody you, you aren't. And I, I love that you are so raw about that because I feel like so many people feel like you hear people say all the time, fake it till you make it right. And I feel like you grew from that. So can you share a little bit about what that was like for you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I got, I'm based in Los Angeles. And so I was about 26 years old when I got into real estate. And I totally subscribed to the idea that I had to look the part and act the part. And I had to cover my tattoos. <laughs> I had to um, do what a professional, quote unquote, professional real estate agent looks like and acts like. And I've never felt more unauthentic in my entire life than when I tried to uh, do that. and. When I got into real estate in the beginning, you know, I was I was in this culture in LA that um, promoted that, and it was it's just one hundred percent not who I am, and uh, I even you know that negative self talk. Who am I at twenty six years old to get into real estate? You know, I didn't have real estate background, and um, fighting that inner talk. You know, I even partnered with my mother in law, who was you know middle aged looked the part, had the experience. And because I was really insecure about being a real estate agent so young and who was going to trust me, you know, all these things going through my mind, who was going to trust me with the sale of their house or, um, you know, representing them as buyers. And so I, I, I put on heels that were very much not me. And I, you know, dress everything. I dressed it, I looked it and it, and it was just, inauthentic. Um, what kind of shoes yeah. do you usually wear? <laughs> well, no, no. Before you answer that question, cause I do want to know, <laughs> but I, where did you get your, your mental picture of, mm -hmm. of what you thought you were supposed to do? Like, where did you look and see selling sunset? <laughs> that wasn't in existence. Was it? <laughs> I don't know. Like, where did you get that, uh, that false idea? Not, I, I mean, mean, like yeah. the picture. Yeah, I think it's just a culture of what real estate looks like or what it has looked like in the past. Um, especially out here, you see a lot of real estate agents. This is, you know, second careers for them. And so they tend to be older, just, uh, you know, demographically older, entering into real estate. And everyone in my office, that's what I saw in my I office. See. Okay, mm -hmm. so it was in your office. Yeah, absolutely. 
What a soul crushing feeling to have to feel like you've got to insert yourself into a mold. Yeah, it really was. It really, really was. And up in my, up my life all the way up until then, I've lived so authentically myself and um, challenged myself so much to be authentic. And so, um, you know, I'm not, I wasn't immune to like living this authentic, you know, like I, I, I fell into it. Um, and then I realized about two, two and a half years into it, like, wow, this is not working. Like I'm not, this is not, you know, this isn't sitting right with me. Well, yeah. How, how, um, exhausting to, to fake it every day, you know, or to, I mean, if I have to put high heels on, I'm like, the only reason I'm doing it is maybe for like an hour to impress my husband. But otherwise I'm like, no, like I can't, it's so not me. I, yeah, <laughs> like, it isn't you. No, I can't imagine it. And you I know mean, what? I literally have chucks on right now. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, I didn't even know they were called chucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sneakers all the way or, or some combat boots. That's my go-to. Oh, yeah. same. Oh, that fits you. Yeah. hundred percent. It totally fits you. <laughs> um, I have a, I have a question. Well, first of all, I think a lot of women struggle with this. So I think we should park on it for a minute because I know, for example, I, in my first marriage, I was like one person at work, one person when I was with my husband, another person, when I was with my friends, another person, you know, I like changed myself according to what the way that I thought you're supposed to be in whatever situation. And I literally went crazy mm-hmm. after 10 years of, of being that way. I don't even believe I, I can't even believe I lasted 10 years. I almost came undone. Like mm-hmm. I was almost my own demise mm-hmm. until actually it's God that snapped me out of it, you mm-hmm. know, because that is a horrible way to live. Congratulations for only doing that for two and a half years. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, it's interesting because it's a pattern that can show up in different areas of your life. Like you were saying, like at that moment in my life, it showed up in business and other moments of my life, it shows, it shows up in relationships. So mm-hmm. it's something that I really have to be aware of and try to challenge myself and check myself with people that support me. Um, yeah. Well, and I think too, like the, the constant, like where you hear that voice in your head, we talk about that a lot because I know so many people struggle with it. And I feel like if somebody says they don't, they're lying because we all have that inner voice where it's like, why me? Like you said, 26 and I got into real estate, my background, like why would anyone hire me? And I feel like, um, it's a constant battle to get yourself out of that. Um, what's that book we read? Get out of your head. Uh, was it called? Yeah, I think it's get out of your head. And it's really good. If you're struggling with that, you should definitely read it and get somebody who you can be like the first six months when we made a humongous change Mm -hmm. from, you know, working together at our brokerage and then coming over to exp that first six months, we had constant conversations talking each other off the ledge. Like Mm -hmm. you can do this. You've got the talent, Mm -hmm. you know, it it's crazy, but you need that. It's like what we talked about yesterday on, on midweek mind freak, you've got to like get in the right mindset, have the people around you that sharpen you Mm -hmm. that you can be real with that will be real back with you. So you don't get stuck too long in those ruts who helped you get out of that, Rachel. My husband was a huge support, um, for me. And he kept reminding me that, you know, this is, he's a big (laughs) big proponent of living authentically. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's a big example for me also, because he just, you know, he has this ability to, um, really be real and honest with the situation and not, and not like sugarcoated or not look at it, like just have a clear perspective of a lot of things. And so when he saw me kind of changing, he, he would just say comments like, is that you? Does that feel right? You know, does that, is that fit for you? Wow. Yeah, good that's for good. Him. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. So my husband, you know, and I also have uh, supportive friends and mentors in my life that really challenge me as well. Um, I'm lucky enough to have some really strong uh, women who have known me for a really long time that, that also ask me those questions too. Um and, you know, in a really, in a real way, like I have a little daughter that's looking up to me. She's six and my son too, but there's something about the way your daughter looks up to you. And, um, and, you know, I felt myself dressing and looking like just, I know the dressing is so like such the vain part of it, but it's mm-hmm. kind of the outward expression of it also. Mm-hmm. And you know, I saw her and I could just, it just wasn't me. And so it was like, I was doing this thing that just wasn't me. 
Um, that's growing up fake for your daughter in front of your daughter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's like what I, you know, a lot of my friends in my life, they come to me and they're like, you know, you're just authentically you, like, how do you do this? Right. And then here I was, you know, not being authentic. And, um, so it really didn't fit. And it was really, I had this, like, really this existential moment with it. And I was just completely like, this is not working. Mm -hmm. And, um, then, you know, crazy things happen. This unlockbox business idea came out of that existential crisis because I'm like, I just, I'm a natural helper. You know, I went to school for psychology. I wanted to be a therapist and, um, I, I didn't feel it wasn't fitting that I wasn't like helping people in the way in which I wanted to. And, um, then this business idea came to me and I was like, this is a way to really, really help people, um, that are struggling that, str that struggled in the same way I did that struggle in ways that I, I, I don't even know yet, but you know, um, so it all came back to that piece. Like I really did enjoy real estate, I loved working with buyers and sellers. I, I, you know, some of my greatest accomplishments is working with first time home buyers when they, you know, sign those closing docs. Like that was so inspiring to me. Um, and so there are some really great moments in real estate, but on a personal level, it was a really, it was a struggle. It was a, it was a struggle. Well, this is a good segue into, you know, your business plan. So talk to us about um, how you started Unlocked Box and what is it? Yeah. So I'll share the moment of my existential crisis, because I think that it's, it's like, we've all experienced this and it's just a matter of perspective. Um, you know, I was working my restaurant management job, trying to transition into real estate full time. And that was, I've always worked from when I was 15 years old, I've always worked a lot. So I wasn't a stranger to working a lot. And, um, I was, working about 40 hours a week at the restaurant. And I was trying to fit in real estate so that I could transition into it and make that, that income, income jump. And, um, I held double open houses on Saturday and Sunday for another agent. And I went and worked the, uh, the restaurant job right after, and I got home from work. My kids were sleeping and, um, I was just watching them sleep as you know, like I didn't see them all day and I was watching them sleep. And I had this moment of like, there has got to be a better way. Like they're, they're just, it's just not working. And um, then this idea of, well, how can I stay into real estate and make and create more opportunity? How can I have more opportunities in real estate, more opportunities to sit open houses, more opportunities to make like real money in between commissions? And so that idea just like sat there in my mind. And I was like, I pulled like a four hour, like Google search that night. And I'm like, does this exist? Like, does, <laughs> you know, it's like, it just sunk its teeth into my, my brain. And the more and more research that I did, I was like, it doesn't exist how we need it. It's not there. <laughs> and, um, I was, I entered this small little business competition, which really like validated my idea and got a little seed money to start the business. And then like a suspense model, um, uh, a suspense. What's the book? <laughs> Everybody's like on the edge of their seats. What is it, Rachel? Tell us what's on <laughs> I know, totally. I know. So <laughs> that's awesome. I'll segue right into it. So uh, I, I think it's important to share the, the like, the vulnerability and what it, it was like for me, because that's like, that's the foundation of Unlocked Box. And mm -hmm. in that, you know, Unlocked Box is a free app. Never in my life did I think I'd be sitting here saying I developed a, a real estate app, a tech app. Like yeah, that's just, it's just mind blowing to me. But um, so I, I actually learned the app world, which was like learning another language when you get started is completely, oh my gosh. I was completely new, didn't know anything about it. And just did all this research for about a year um, and learned how to prototype, learned how to, like, I needed to get my idea onto, like, onto page. And so I just, like, learned how to do it online, fleshed the idea out. And um, 
So I'm like, okay, I, I need opportunities between what did I need as an agent? Um, and so Unlocked Box is a free app that you can download in the Play Store and the App Store. And you can request other agents to unlock properties for you when you can't make it. So say I had a client that was, you know, 30 minutes away and I had to be at my son's basketball game and I couldn't make it. I wanted to make my son's basketball game. I'd send out a request through Unlocked Box and other agents in the area would get the request and pick it up. And so I pay the other agent $30 to unlock the door for my clients, take them through the house, and that's it. So it's really this on-demand showings for your clients. So that was it's one part. the best thing ever. Well, hold on. I want to just real quick say that when I heard about this, you guys, I have texts every day from agents. Do you know somebody who can open a door for me in whatever area because of this exact scenario? I'm, you know... I have my kids game or I'm already showing a home on the other side of town. And so when I heard this, I'm like, this is so needed in our industry. And one thing that I think is so awesome about the app is that these agents that sign up to go open doors, they, they agree to terms and conditions, right? And so they're not going to be uh, just a random agent opening doors. And then they have reviews. So like, you know, like an Uber driver has reviews, you have an agent that has star ratings. So if you're like, this agent has one star, you're not going to let them go open up a door right. for your client. But if they have five stars, and they have these awesome reviews from other agents, it's like, you feel peace when you go and put that request request out and you accept them. So that is like, Oh my gosh, it's so, so good. I just, I, I can't get over how smart you are. Well, it's not, it's not only that, but if, if there've got to be right now, real estate agents that a story pops in your head. Like I remember a time when I drove all the way 45 minutes mm -hmm. to a house just to discover that I had forgotten my key and at the time <laughs> it wasn't on your phone. Mm -hmm. And I literally had to go all the way back, get the key, go all the way back open the door. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. And if I would have had this service, I definitely would have saved more than $30 worth of gas and time. Well, I would have loved that. Yeah. And the other, the other awesome thing is you're a blessing to a new agent who needs money That's while they're right. building their business. So what a great opportunity for them to be uh, out in the field around people and opening doors for other agents and $30 might not seem like much money to a lot of people, but that can build up and it's, it's something when you're making nothing. That's right. It's, it's, Absolutely. there's no downside, no downside. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it's really cool. Yeah. I, being an agent, I knew these little, these little things that I needed. Like I've put in the app that you can request other agents only in your brokerage. Mm -hmm. So for the EXP, you can put out the request to other EXP agents who are on unlocked box. And then we have this like social media type of networking part of the app where you can follow and friend other agents in your area. Mm -hmm. And you can send out requests to agents only within your network also. So it's, it's, you know, I really needed this. And then when I started talking to people around me, other agents around me, they're like, we really need this. Mm -hmm. And it's been that way since I started this. And that's why it's like my goal to get this out there to everyone so that they can, you know, you sign up as a new agent. I struggled with getting that real world life experience, right? Like it's one thing to do contracts and then it's another thing to show properties and try to sell properties and get listings and sit open houses. And this was for me, like I wanted to build this as a real world tool that you could use in your day-to-day -day life and just use it when and how you need it. And that's why I was like, this has to be free. This has no, no subscriptions, no nothing uh, tied to it. And um, it just really has to work for the agent because I think, I think right now we're in this landscape where a lot of big technology is telling us what we need as agents, yet they really haven't been in our shoes. Mm -hmm. and, um, it was important for me to build this from agent, from the agent up instead of like technology down, as I really wanted to make it work. It has, you know, like um, we need a tool that really works for us and that that makes our lives easier and, and that like we get it. We know what it's like. We know that things come up. And, you know, another part of the app 
is um, requesting somebody to sit an open house for you. That's so awesome. If you're a busy agent. You can't sit your open or you want to have an open Saturday and Sunday and you want to hold one and you want another agent to hold the other one. You know, it gives those new agents that opportunity to sit open houses and bring in the potential buyer. And mm -hmm. that part's completely free. Um, you can request other agents. And that was my way of, that's where I found the most success in real estate was when I sat open houses for other agents. And I'm like, I was, I was, I was texting everyone in my, in my circle, in my farm area, inside my brokerage, outside my brokerage. I had this whole long message with things I would do for their, their open house. And, um, I was like, this is, archaic like it's texting agents you know like this is this needs to exist in a more streamlined way and and I like to control chaos like my restaurant management job was just like completely controlling chaos and I felt like my this house. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like I gotta control the chaos here so I had to build this and then it had to make sense in my mind so that I could you know push it out and get it out to everybody um to help them and, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's on lockbox. Um, it's just like this real tool that will help you be more effective at your job, whether you're busy or whether you're slow, a newer agent, a busier agent, like anytime you can use this as an agent. Yeah. And just think like, as this app grows, it's going to get more and more and more powerful. So I definitely like encourage the everywhere. And remember, it's in every state and that you can filter through brokerages. So if you guys have your phone out, go to the app store and download Unlocked Box. Now. And then go on your Instagram story and tell everybody and about tell Unlocked everyone. Box. Tell your brokerage about it. Absolutely. Because the more people that have this app, the mm -hmm. more powerful it will be in your own career. So I'm I'm, yes. I'm so excited about how what this is this problem mm -hmm. that you have solved these problems that mm -hmm. you are solving it's awesome it's so fantastic thank you yeah I mean it's just it was a lot of a lot of struggle and I I want to help people not have to go through that struggle so much mm -hmm. and it, you know just when they're a new agent oh on lockbox it's like it's like a second thought you know it's their second thought oh it will help more people get into real estate, even in the very beginning, because they'll have that safety net of, oh, I can pick up some jobs and make some money. You know, Kristen, like you said, 30 bucks, it adds up. Um, it adds it's, up. Payments, it's, you know, it's, it's gas. It's, it does. And that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Especially yeah. right now, because yep. gas prices are insane. Yep. Yeah. hundred percent. Well, thank you so much. I know we, at Moms in Real Estate, Moms in Real Estate, we are a hundred percent behind Unlocked Box. Hundred percent, we, we will scream it from the mountains because I we're, believe in it. We're actually so excited because um, Rachel is flying out from LA to Chandler, Arizona, to come to our uh, Flourish event, April twentieth, twenty first, and twenty second. So she'll be there. If you want to network with her, um, I would highly recommend flying out and being a part of Moms in Real Estate, hearing her up on stage, and getting to know other women. Yeah, I'm Rachel, so thank you so excited. much. I'm I'm blessed to know you. I thank God that we got to meet and that we get to help you with this unbelievable app that's going to help so many people. I'm equally blessed, honestly, and and humbled. And uh, I to have people like you behind me is what this is about. When you surround yourself with you know like minded people who want to help, just a, like strip everything else away. They just want to help other people that to me is like the most meaningful thing in life and i'm i'm so lucky that i found you both and that you guys are supporting me um so that we can you know support countless amounts of people and that's, right. uh, that's what it's all about you know giving back in that way well thank you again rachel thank you guys for listening go download that app and we will see you next time bye